Welcome, Papples, back to my LP. It's right, Mario, it's no time to sleep yet. Of Super Mario Sunshine. I'm your awesome host, Vladimir Sir. And today, ooh, bucket. Rather barrel. Full of water. We'll probably be using those in later levels. But today's level that we start out on the first four missions of is going to be Gelato Batch. Grand Pound for victory. This is a good tip if you are too high up. Uh, somehow you get up uh, on top of building, you need to come back down. Oh, surprise, surprise, another goopy piranha. Didn't see that coming in this mucky mess. Oh, remember the black goo. Uh, it will hurt you if you stand in it. Petroleum oil is not good to inhale of the fumes. Woohoo! That is one shot. But uh, you ground pound when you're at a very high height and you don't want to take damage for falling. Oh, it looks like it's better. But no, it comes back. This time with many jealous scrubbers of many different colors. They're all very cool looking. They almost look cute and cuddly and colorful enough to squeeze and hold like a squishy body. But you don't want to do that, they take out health. It's like running into Shadow Mario. Except these pebbles are a more sh not so shadowy and more colorful. Shinyful. One survives, but it gets absorbed with us. So the first mission is the Dune Bud of the Sand Castle Sacred. Summon the Sacreds in this game. I'm spoiling them all for you. But if you're watching this LP, I'm assuming you know I'm going to be doing this sort of thing. I don't know, Pebbles. Making this LP is making me realize I might have to get a new PC. Things have been running relatively... Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's the wrong one! Slowly lately, while well, I'm trying to render these episodes out. The good thing about those cataquacks is they cannot handle the water. At least the blue ones. But since they're the only ones here, it's all we have to worry about. Oh, you messed up my slide maneuver. Just trying to be all awesome and slide on my belly to victory. Now you saw the sand castle will poof up out of the ground. It does fade away. He said the uh, Hendrix Jimmy said the castles made of sand will fall into the sea eventually. So you got to be quick when doing uh, the getting to the gate of this mission. The secret. Which is interesting, they start out the first mission in this Gelato Beach as a secret mission. Usually the developers have been waiting so far. Let us get a couple missions in. Okay, now at this point, if you have trouble, you should not really because it is a direct straight line. But if you do, I recommend you using the C stick to adjust the camera right above Mario's head so you are looking top down on top of his red hat. Oh, nothing good. Look at the train in the background. Man, the people speculate this was the inspiration for Super Mario Galaxy. I definitely see that in the background with the, the Toy Town Galaxy. They say, no, not Toy Town. No, it's not whole town. It is a toy world. I don't know. If I get, uh, say, 30 likes on this video, I would consider... Oh, no! I would consider trying not to die before I make requests on my viewers. But uh, I would uh, consider doing a, a Mario Galaxy or a Galaxy 2. Or both. I don't know. We will see if we could get this video to 30 likes. Which I think is hard to do. Then, uh, you know, maybe I do that. Not maybe, definitely. Okay, now that right there, Pupples, is to signify that once you leave that level of Gelato Batch, you can go to Pina Park. We don't need to go to Pina Park, though, because I'm doing it systematically, so we do four episodes, four missions in one episode of a world. 
and then we go do the others. So this is, is good. This is all linear, and you can uh, click the menu system and find real essay. But uh, the purple's are questioning, hey, why can you get Yoshi this fast? Well, I didn't. It is the power of editing. But this is the point in the game. If you not go to this level, instead go to Pina Park, where you get closer to having a Yoshi. Oh, those strange cataquacks with suction cup fats are messing up the solar mirrors. Those bastards, they're not ecologically friendly. They are worse than the evil Captain Planet, Captain Smogton. They're worse than that because they are depriving the entire island of energy. I am kidding, this is no solar panel, it is a mirror to keep uh, that gigantic egg very warm. I think that's what it's for. Okay, so we have to oh, not get hit in the face by them. But we have to make them fly off the mirror. What is the method of doing this? If you don't like this mission, you want to go do Pina Park, I advise you that uh, it is mission 4 on that uh, on that part of Delfino Isle that will uh, get you the Yashi Egg. And then you can go back to Rico Harbor and be very happy. Okay, they're at the edge. Now get off! No, that no work. Why will you not be flung? Go! Ooh! Alright, maybe... Ooh, I need to not take so much damage. What am I missing in this? They get to the edge... Then fling! I'm driving them to the other edge. Flood slash GLaDOS. You know, the way that Flood specs, I almost wonder if she is programmed with a mini core. Not very helpful. Oh, we are taking way too much damage. We need to get off this mirror temporarily and go find health. Thankfully, this gigantic egg has a uh, lot of coins right around it. I wonder what will hatch from it. Well, we will never know if you stop it. Re oh, that is what it is. Okay. Uh, you cheated. Your foot was completely up. You have to drive them to the very, very edge, not just a little bit of edge. Make sure their foot is uh, one is up off the mirror, and then their suction power is diminished. If I get a quicks. All right, there's one more mirror closer to hatching that egg. What is a gigantic oh wiggler doing up there? Why did it place us up here? Is it time for pina coladas? No! We still got two more mirrors to go. It was actually the second hardest mirror to get cleared. Guess that uh, this is only having one of the suction cup red cataquakes off my mirror. And we're focusing the sun's powers even more. We're charging up our spears, and I really fear what will happen once we wake the slumber of that wiggly wiggler guy. That biggly wiggler guy, you know, he's, I don't think he's going to like a rude wake-up call via 10,000 watts of sunlight bent straight into his body. But that is not my problem. I just wonder why these cataquacks, how they are to be getting up here. Did they do a completely inverted suction cup stand like uh, the suction cup man? I don't know if you say this, but there is a person who scale buildings with just suction cups alone. Did they do that and walk on the reverse side of the mirror because they were bored? Where'd they even come from? Last I saw was only blue cataquacks. Very nice reflection, you can see them tumbling helplessly through the sky as we burst them off. Goodbye! Well, that was a rather gruesome ending to that caterpillar. I thought he was just going to heat up or something and get red angry like wigglers tend to do. But no, he just fall apart to a million and one passes. 
See, these guys, they don't have suction cups on their fats. This is not such problem. I think they are modified cataquacks. Maybe they are the angry parts of the wiggler segmented. Well, my fears about that wiggler big caterpillars were justified. Because next mission is this. The wiggler ahoy, full steam ahead. It's like the angry train. The one that is crazy on the way to hell. And he wants to take you up in his fats and smack you down into the ground of hell. So we'll have to derail this crazy train with sand castles. That's right, you want to destroy a giant caterpillar, you get a gigantic sand castle diversion. It will cancel his running out. It will trip on his side like this, fall on his back, helpless, until he flips over, allowing us to ground pound his underside. Yes, I too would be mad if I was broken up into many, many pieces. So what you have to do is see where he is to be training around, what is his track, because he's got a set path of motion. We need to find the best bud to make burst when he come close. This one, oh, it's too late. But we go flying. How about, no, almost. Get pyramided. There we go, right on the edge. This is no pyramid scheme, comrades. This is kicking wiggler tail. So you look at these segments, they almost look like uh, individual cataquacks chained together. Like that horrible human centipede movie. Never watch if you want to have innocence intact. Oh, the awfulness. I know even watch, I just see some pictures and that was too much for me. Oh, he's getting craftier now, huh? He's only affected maybe by this bud. Alright, buddy. Take this castle! Oh, what the hell, he run right through me and not even get faced by shell. You not help me either, shell person. Yeah, that's what you do, hide in your shell. Well, I get launched by that one. Flip! Oh, great, this is all the way at his head side. I'm coming to squash you! No! Oh, that is chapness. I was right there. I made contact with my Italian behind. He should be grinded by that. Okay. Good strategy to preserve the bud to make sure it's ready to burst right when he come by. You do the tap, tap, tap of the air button. Don't constantly have... What? He not even flip over from that? It certainly looked like it to me, like you would be dead. There we go, that did it. Either that is a... Oh, come on, I don't need to waste time. Ugh, I don't think we're going to make it. Go, Mario, go. Oh, so close, again. I think we were closer on the first shot. We actually ground pounded the spot that needed to be headed, but it cheated. It take away the arrow as if he's not vulnerable anymore. He's like, oh, only when I have this vulnerability wiggly arrow am I going to be faced by your ground pounding behind, Mario. You not eat enough pasta. Your weight is not great enough to destroy my wiggle or body. But that other... Oh, for pet's sake. Why you have to be all the way over there? Why can you not just flip over your side really close to me? Soul. Then you made me take a dip in the sea. I did not want to say the sea. I get it, it's all around, I'm on an island. I did not want to swim, I'm not here for local pool day. I'm here to kick your ass. But that shell that we made emerge from the ground, I'm thinking maybe another bud might get him to not launch into the ocean. Cause that is absurd, how am I going to get over there in enough time? Game not let me get there. 
wat krijg je? But uh, this shell that pop out of the ground. Oh, this is the pyramid, never mind. And it does not work. We actually have to go to the shell. Is it a spiral shell or a steaming pile of dog crap? Okay, I got another idea. We are losing time when we get blasted up by the sand creation as well. Those are some funny plants. We got faces that burst and all we're doing is sending that uh, shell crutcher flying. Not really helping with the weak one. But if I could stay away from him and at a distance... No, he's completely running around the pyramid. And at a distance launch this. Yep, it does nothing good. Then maybe the time that I save not flying into the air, maybe that will allow us the time to go squash the Wigglers behind. I'm surprised he's not turned red. Usually whenever I fight a Wiggler, if he's in a Mario 2D game, oh, the, oh look at that! He may be out in the ocean, but he's closer to... No! Damn you! Oh. Again with the chapness of yeah, I think he set a record land break of jump on that one. He got so far away from the sand dune. Uh, it is ridiculous. I need swim trunks and scuba gear to get out to him sufficiently. There, I stop him early. Maybe he not go so far. Okay. Must flood this in one shot. If I fall in the water, perfect, you're done! Haha! <laughs> you tricky bastard. That's why he no turn red. He's not a real wiggler. He's a sand dune creation. Gelato Beach is strange. Very strange. You should be called Aberration Beach. Because all these aberrations of sand, it's just like this, the mighty sand bird, it is born. All these things happen in sand. I cannot tell anymore what is real and what is not. I think, you know, you water a flower, you water a bud, it grow into nice flower or vegetable or fruit maybe. And make good watermelons, which is another mission that is pain in my side that I know we have to do in this world. But not yet, not yet, so it's not pain yet. But I am anticipating it. But look at this, what happens when we water this plant? It not, well, it grow a little bigger, but more than that, it grows stairs. Sand the stairs, not even plant stairs. I've never known plants to grow the ground around them. This is certainly a strange patch. But you're about to witness something much stranger than giant sand wigglers and cataquacks with suction cups on fats. Our efforts in defeating that evil caterpillar and his minions is finally allowed the sand bird to hatch. Yet another thing spawned from gelato batch that is made of sand. You're not gelato, I think in Italian this is dessert or at least ice cream. I know that to be used is ice cream or that word to be ice cream, but uh, in the Italian sense it could just mean dessert normally of any kind that is good and sweat. Ooh, we need that one up. Okay, I'm doing things out of water here, but why not go for one of the more difficult coins before it starts flapping and spinning and doing barrel rolls. Go to get all the coins as you can. Here it goes. Oh boy! Let me get less coin. Okay, good. Oh boy. He's doing the turn. Don't do barrel roll you without me. The best way is to be quick on this sand bird. You want to be sure you can turn with it. Okay, it looks like he's coming back around. Okay. And take very small movements 
when you are on its neck trying to spin with it is not as great a turning radius as uh, say the rectangular blocks that we had to trade in the sacred missions. Look at this world. We must be above the island a thousand million fats. Where are these towers from? What island is this spawn from? Who knows? Oh, phew, but uh, you know, you go quick on the sandbird and you have victory. But a place named Gelato Batch, I would like more ice cream aberrations. I wish it was the mighty ice cream bird. And the caterpillar sandwich of yummy ice cream that we had to cream. But, so bad.